In this lesson, we're going to talk about work, getting things done, the speed it takes, and using units. One very important equation that we use all the time in the real world is distance equals rate times time. If you're in a car and you want to figure out how long it's going to take you to drive from one place to another, you need to know how fast you can go. Once you know how fast and how far, you can figure out how long. Or if you know how fast you were going and you know how long it took you to get there, you can figure out how far you went. If you know how long you drove for and how far you went, you can use that to figure out how fast you were going. All of these questions are answered by the same equation. Distance equals rate times time. If you know any two of these, then you can find out the third. The time is how long. And that would be measured in seconds or minutes or hours or even days sometimes. The distance is how far. That can be measured in miles or kilometers or feet or inches, some measurement of length. The third one is the rate, and that is a division of how far divided by how long, whatever our units happen to be. But that's how you find the rate. In our first example, we're going to be looking at a walker versus a runner. We're going to substitute the walker's distance and time to solve for the rate of speed. Let's imagine that we have a 50-foot course laid out and you're going to take turns tracking each other to see how long it takes you to walk or run that course. If our distance is 50 feet and let's say it takes a walker 12 seconds, our time is 12 seconds to walk that distance, we can take these values and substitute them into this equation to find our rate. The distance is 50 feet. We don't know our rate, that's our variable. And our time is 12 seconds. We want to know how fast in feet per second that our walker went. So we're going to take, and in order to find R, our rate, we're going to divide both sides by 12 seconds. Dividing is the inverse of multiplying. When we divide 12 seconds by 12 seconds, they cancel out to be 1. And if we do 12 seconds on this side, we end up with our rate units being feet per second. So R is going to be 50 feet divided by 12 seconds. 50 feet divided by 12 seconds is 4 and 16 hundredths feet per second. That means in one second, this person can walk four and a little bit feet, just a little bit more than four feet. Now let's look at what happens when someone runs that same distance. Our distance is still 50 feet. Our time this time, let's say that it is 8 seconds. Someone can run that distance of 50 feet in 8 seconds. We have the same equation. Distance equals rate times time. Make a guess. Do you think that it's going to be a faster rate or a slower rate? Let's find out. 50 feet equals our rate times our time, 8 seconds. We divide both sides by 8 seconds.
these two cross out because they're exactly the same. A number divided by itself gives us 1. And we have r, our rate, equals 50 feet divided by 8 seconds. which gives us 6 and 25 hundredths feet per second. The rate for our runner was 6 and a quarter feet in one second. The rate for our walker was a little more than 4 feet in one second. As we expect, the runner went faster. Here's another example. In this example, we have Chris Johnson running the 40-yard dash in 4.24 seconds, 4 and 24 hundredths of a second. 40 yards in 4 and 24 hundredths of a second. What is the rate of speed? Whenever you see the word speed, you should be thinking distance divided by time. And we're going to round any answer to the nearest hundredth. Remember, hundredth is the second place value after the decimal. Here's our equation again. Distance equals rate times time. Our distance is 40 yards. We don't know our rate. That's what we're going to find. And we know our time is 4 and 24 hundredths of a second. In order to find this value, again we need to divide by 4 and 24 hundredths of a second. Those cross out to be 1 because they're exactly the same and we're dividing. We're also going to divide this side by 4 and 24 hundredths of a second. That's going to give us a rate of yards per second. So rate equals 40 yards divided by 4 and 24 hundredths seconds. And that gives us a rate of 9 and 4, 3, 3, 9. We're rounding to the nearest hundredth. So this is where we want to end up. We need to look at this value. If it's greater than 4, so 5 and above, we'll round up to the next number. If it's less than 5, then we'll keep it at this number. Since 3 is less than 5, we're going to round this to 9 and 43 hundredths yards per second. That's really, really fast. If you imagine 9 yards, that's almost the distance on a football field between the 20th yard and the 30th yard. Or, if you want to think about it in feet, that's more than 27 feet in just one second. Now we're going to combine that with what we did in Lesson 21. We're going to convert some of those values into others. We know that we, the runner went 9 and 43 hundredths yards per second. How many yards would he run in one minute? 9.43 yards in one second. We need a conversion rate, something we can multiply to turn seconds into minutes. We want to have minutes on the bottom because we're turning seconds into minutes, so we need seconds on the top. In one minute, there are 60 seconds. So if he can do this in one second, if we multiply it by 60 seconds, we can find out how many yards he can run in one minute. Because we are multiplying all of this, and we have seconds on the top and seconds on the bottom, we're going to have 9.43 times 60 yards 
we're keeping those units going across in one minute. That's going to be an amazing 565 and 8 tenths yards per minute. That means in one minute, Chris Johnson could run over five and a half football fields. Each football field is 100 yards, and he can go 565 and 8 tenths yards in one minute if he continued at that same rate. If we wanted to find out how many yards he could run in one hour if he kept to that same rate, we could take 565 and 8 tenths yards in one minute and multiply it by a conversion factor that will give us hours. We know that one hour is 60 minutes. So here's our conversion factor, 60 minutes in an hour. So we're going to multiply 565 and 8 tenths times 60 and we're left with yards because the minutes on the top and the minutes on the bottom, because we're only multiplying and dividing, cancel out and we get just yards in one hour. That's 33,948 yards per hour. So if he ran at that same rate for one hour, he could go 33,948 yards. We did this problem in two separate steps, but we could complete the same problem in one step. If we started out with 9 and 43 hundredths yards per second, and multiplied that by 60 seconds per minute, and then 60 minutes per hour, we would end up with the same answer. Go ahead, do it on your calculator. 9 and 43 hundredths times 60 times 60 again. We'll get 33,948 yards in one hour. Remember, we're going to cross out any units so that both the numerator and the denominator in the expression, seconds and seconds, both in the denominator and the numerator, minutes and minutes, both in the denominator and the numerator, that leaves us with just yards and hours, yards in one hour. Now, that seems to be a very big number. 33,948 yards. That's like 339 football fields, but that's not a very easy number for us to imagine. If we can convert it into miles in an hour, that would be something we could understand. If we take 33,948 yards in one hour, and we want to convert that to miles per hour. We want to convert that to a number of miles per hour. We need a conversion rate that will turn yards into miles. We need to know how many yards there are in one mile. So this time our number is going to be on the bottom. There are 1,760 yards in one mile. So this time, we're going to end up dividing instead of multiplying. We're going to take 33,948 and we're going to divide it by 1,760. And we're going to get 19 and 29 hundredths miles per hour. So we know that this Chris Johnson person, when he ran the 40-yard dash, was running almost 20 miles per hour during those 40 yards. If he kept it up for a whole hour, he could go a little over 19 miles.